going on a food tour, doing what we like best, eating and drinking. Yeah, but we're, oh. we were late. We're in Rome. That's right. Just got here. And thanks to us, we are starting the tour, which they made very clear to us 20 minutes late. It's because I've never driven in Rome. And we're stressed out and there's people that we were. But we made it. We made it. It's good. Stay tuned for this. Go to the number one pizza restaurant in all of Rome. It's world famous. It's been featured on cooking shows all over the world, including Anthony Bourdain. the same family for 70 years. Ooh. This is Nando, he's the owner. He and Angela have been cooking here together for 43 years and they still like each other. Reluca. Reluca is our host tonight for this fantastic, honestly, we've been in Italy for a week now and this is one of my favorite activities we've done tonight. It's an Airbnb sponsored seven, how many courses have we been? I have we've been no to idea. <laughs> we've been to five places. Five different locations, some of the best places in Rome, handpicked by Reluca. And bosses, actually. <laughs> we're just going to say Reluca. The bosses aren't here, Reluca's here, handpicked by Reluca. And so we have had, so far, we've had 
Yeah. Well, obviously we've had Italian, but tell us some of the places we've been to. No, so, we've been to the Museum of Cheese. Museum of Cheese, which we had the most exotic cheeses on the planet. Exactly, fresh buffalo, mozzarella, sun dried tomato, basil, pesto. We've been to the number one TripAdvisor shop in Rome that sells 10,000 hams in a year. That place is pretty badass. And That's we, the one where we had all the cow, I mean, the, all the meat up on the roof? On yes. The yeah. And you guys had the 30 year old balsamic. Yeah. The drippy one that was like cream. Bella. And, and Bellissimo. The most, and the most expensive ham in Italy. And the most expensive ham in the world. And then we've been to Michelangelo Pizza. The Michelangelo. Tell me the pizza. So this pizza place we went to had literally like the most exotic ingredients you can possibly imagine on pizza. We're talking arugula, potatoes, different kinds of meats, pork. Porchetta. Porchetta, potatoes. Anchovies, Roman broccoli. Cherry tomatoes, I don't know. Oh, cow intestines with tomato sauce. All of it was <laughs> fantastic. And now we're finishing our nightcap. We're having gelato, which is yeah. like an Italian favorite. We're in Rome, so gelato. 68 and we flavors to pick from with Pata Morgana. So this is basically the Baskin Robbins of Rome. I have no idea what that is. Baskin Robbins, they have like, <laughs> how many flavors of ice cream in Baskin Robbins? Oh, 6,000 flavors of ice cream in America. 31. Okay. We're going to go 6,000. But anyway, we're at Pata Morgana. Tell them the history of Fata Morgan. Uh, it doesn't mean Fat Morgan, it means Mirage. So the chef, Maria Agnese, used to be an actress and changed careers when she found out she's celiac. And they call her Mirage because of all these amazing flavors like basil, walnuts and honey, or chocolate with tobacco, almonds and oranges, um, blue cheese with, with, with pear. I, I you had me at blue cheese. So the, the 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 honestly, we've had some fantastic food, but what's been amazing is is your knowledge. I know you've done this a bazillion times, Thank but you. the knowledge around the food—it's really cool to be able to put knowledge with what you're eating, so you understand the history behind it, where it came from. So yeah, you've done honestly. I have learned more tonight than I've ever learned about food in my entire life, and I'm a foodie, and I've, I've learned more knowledge. So this has been fantastic. Music to my ears. Thank honestly, you. fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for this. This is. Balsamic cheese. It's good. Yeah, and the balsamic. And the gelato. I like the twama cheese with ricotta. The ricotta cheese. Cheese number two. Lamb and uh, truffle. I like oh.